मच गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हावर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर गुड एंड फाइन फिफ्थ क्लास टर्म वन वी विल स्टार्ट आवर क्लास आवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज द ग्लोब वी विल एक्सप्लेन दिस टॉपिक हाफ टॉपिक वी विल एक्सप्लेन नेक्स्ट नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यू वी विल एक्सप्लेन अप टू लैटिट्यूड एंड लैंगेट्यूड्स नाउ वी विल एक्सप्लेन नेक्स्ट नाउ The line of longitude that passes through Greenwich near London is at zero, like zero degrees. It is called Greenwich meridian or Prime meridian. See, see the line of the lines of longitude and that passes through Greenwich meridian near London. We we call this point Prime meridian, or we can call it is. Greenwich meridian or Greenwich meridian, it is zero degrees latitude. It is zero degrees latitude. The part of the earth that lies towards the east of the prime meridian is called the eastern hemisphere, and the to the west is called the western hemisphere. Now see here north pole having and here south pole. East, east, yeah, east, east is called. Eastern hemisphere, west is called the western hemisphere. We can call it prime meridian. We can call it prime meridian. There are three sixty. Uh, there are three sixty longitudes in totally. We have totally three sixty. Three sixty degrees longitude in totally ninety ninety one eighty and ninety ninety one eighty total three sixty degrees in. Lang uh, longitude in totally lines. Next, one eighty east and one eighty west are the same line. It is called the international data line. International data line means the longitude is both one eighty degrees east and one eighty degrees west. It is called international data line. However, the international data line is not a straight. These lines are not a straight. We can see here these lines are not a straight horizontally and vertically. We are seeing in this. It bends to allow each line to be on the same side and to have the same data data and time. We see that it uh, these lines bends to each line. These lines bends to each line to be same side and to have the same date and time. Same date and when we cross the international data line from east to west we gain a day when we go from west to east we lose a day see here the international data will be the international data line from east to west will come now that time we gain a day next when we go from east to west we lose a day that time we come to night it is called international data line next the latitude and longitude from a network of lines on the globe on the globe called grid grid means latitude and longitude from network we can call on globe we can see these lines on globe we can call it is called grid it is called grid the point at which a line of latitude and longitude meet helps uh, us to locate a place when we say that new delhi is 28 degrees north 77 degrees east we mean that new delhi is where latitude 28 degrees north and 20 uh, and longitude 77 degrees east meet we can see here the point which la latitude and longitude line help to each other some the distance is there 77 degrees of east and 28 degrees of north This uh, in Delhi, twenty-eight degrees north uh, we can call north side, and seventy-seven degrees east uh, we can call east side. We mean that in Delhi, in map uh, the Delhi will uh, looking at high. So north side is twenty-eight degrees. The New Delhi is twenty-eight degrees north, and seventy-seven degrees is east. We mean that it is called where latitude and longitude meet each other. Next, rotation and revolution. rotation and revolution the earth shows two types of movements two types of movements that is rotation and revolution that is rotation and revolution the circular movement of the earth on its own axis is called rotation we we uh, the rotation the the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution 
Rotations means uh, only earth surround itself. It is called rotation. Revolution means the uh, the earth around the sun. The earth around the sun. It is called revolution. It is called revolution. The earth completes one rotation every twenty four hours. The rota we can call it is rotation. The rotation of the earth on its axis causes day and night. We can call day and night. The earth circle itself, and one side will be day having, and another half of the side having night. Due to its spherical shape, only half of the earth faces the sun at a time. The sun has night. Various the side that it is facing the facing the sun has day. We will continue next uh, this topic. We will continue. this topic in next class i hope you will uh, you can understand this rotation and revolution your homework is this diagram your homework is this diagram you will draw at home one time homework one time thank you